Hello everybody and welcome to this festive edition of your Craftinoon Tea. I'm here today as part of MHA Digital Communities Advent Calendar and I'm going to be showing you how to make this snowy little scene. So all you're going to need is some bubble wrap, some card, some paint. I've used book pages but that's optional and a little bit of pen as well for the trunks. So follow me through step by step and I'll show you how to make this. Hope you enjoy making this craft with me. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is we need to start on our snowy background. So I'm going to mix some blue paint together. Make it a bit lighter because I want it to be quite a light background. There we go. Give that a little mix. So I've got a sheet of bubble wrap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it um, bubble wrap side up so get all the texture of the bubbles. So I'm just going to cover the whole sheet. I've cut it to the size of my card um, so it's going to cover everything. So I'm going to paint the whole sheet and then I'm going to reverse print it on. So it's quite messy so you might want to put something down to protect your table. I've got quite big bubbles, um, but it doesn't matter, it's personal preference or whatever you've got around the home. Um, you can use smaller bubbles or you can even make your own stamps for this, you don't have to use bubble wrap. I'm using acrylic paint, but if you don't have acrylic paint at home, poster paint will work as well. So make sure all your bubbles are covered. Just go back over it if any of them look like they've dried out a bit. And then what we're going to do, I'm using some card, so bring your card back down, flip your bubble wrap over, align it so that it covers where you want it to be on your card. Place it there and then just press it down so that all the paint goes over it. So once you're confident that you've pressed all of your bubbles, don't press too hard, you don't want to pop the bubbles, but we just want to print them with our paint. So once you're confident that's all done, you can get ready to lift it up. There we go. So I'm going to pop that to the side for a second. So here's my printed background. My snowy sort of scene. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint my trees. So for this I'm going to use some book pages because I just quite like the texture um, and the words coming through. So I've got some green paint this time. I'm going to mix it in with some white again. Give that a quick mix. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the whole of this side of um, the book page. But I want to make it quite thin so that you can still see the book pages and um, the writing underneath. So what I've done is I've added some water which will make my paint a lot looser. Well it should do if I didn't have too much on there. So I should be able to spread that now. So just keep mixing. You don't need a lot of paint for this. And just give it a very light wash.
you'll see the page starts to sort of turn up a bit, but that's okay because we're going to cut this into tree shapes. So I'm just going to hold it up so you can see. So we can still see the words beneath the paint. So what I'm going to do is pop that to the side for a second to let that dry. It shouldn't take too long. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on again and I'm just going to wash it. A little bit more. go so again you can still see the words beneath the paint so that's going to go to the side for a minute just to dry along with my other one what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create my snowscape and um, so again what I want to do oh, I've got a bit of water on the table but that's fine we won't use that bit of the page is I just want to create a hill so it adds a bit of texture so I'm just going to draw a rough line and then I can trim it down. So as you can see, I've just drawn, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I've just drawn a very rough line of a hill shape. So I'm gonna cut it out, and if it's too big, I can just keep trimming it down. So what I'll do is I'll bring this back up here a second. So pop that, align that onto your page. So that probably looks like a good size. Now where my paint's still a bit wet, I can probably just tack it with that instead of having to use some glue. So this is our scene so far. And join me in a few seconds when our book pages are dry and I'll show you how to finish it off and add your trees. See you in a sec. So welcome back and it's now time to do our trees. So this is nice and dry now. I put it on the radiator so it's gone a little bit crumpled. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some triangles out of the book pages. All different sizes and shapes. I might even leave the bottom of the page there a little bit, for a little bit of texture. So, and then I'm just going to place them on here. In a second, I'll start to glue them down. So you can add as many trees as you like, it's entirely up to you. You might want to layer them, or you might just want to have them dotted around. So I'm going to do another big tree. And you can play around with it, you know, I haven't stuck anything yet, so it could all change still. You can layer them up, you can put several trees in one area. What I'm going to start to do now is stick them down. 
I'm just going to turn it around so I can see. So I'm just going to use PVA glue to stick them down. I'm just going to take them all off for a second and then I'll rearrange them as I go. So I'm going to dot my big ones, space them out at different heights as well. So I think I probably just want one or two more in the corner. So push up to the side for a second. So here's how it's looking so far. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add, I've got a pencil and I'm just going to draw some stalks on for my tree, or trunks, they're trunks, aren't they? If you've got a thicker pen, you can use that. I'm just using what I've got to hand. And I can also draw some veins on my trees to give it a little bit of texture. Give them some branches too. So there we have it. There's our snowy little scene. Have a go yourself. Hope you've enjoyed making this craft with me and I'll see you again soon for another festive craft. Take care.